right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks. All right, kind of like a rumor mill rundown real quick. Uh, in one uh, big rumor. Um, I don't know, kind of all of them kind of big. But hey, we back. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, Copperger uh, said on Twitter, I'll link that in the trip description that Jamal Charlo is going to headline a December 17th card. Uh, it's a rumor right now against Dennis Hogan um, at the Barclays Center. So, December 7th, you'll have AJ Ruiz, um, the rematch in Saudi Arabia. And you might get Tevin Farmer and Jojo Diaz on that card, but not sure. That could fall on that card. That can go um, December 13th or December 14th on the zone, unless something changes. But right now, you're going to get a Showtime card. So, Showtime have two fights lined up for the end of the year. Erickson Lubin taking on Terrell Boucher. Easter Jr. taking on Granados on the same card. And uh, in Reading, Reading, um, Pennsylvania on Showtime, that's October 26th. And I'm going to tell you the correlation of another rumor with that. And then you got Jamal Charlo going to Showtime. So uh, Showtime, uh, people saying that uh, Showtime chose not to pick up the Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz pay-per-view. They start rumors. What happened was Showtime just got outbid by Fox. Fox put up too much money and Showtime couldn't compete. So for the most part, it wasn't that. You know, Showtime didn't choose Deontay Wilder. Fox just had more money. But uh, Charlo Hogan, a good fight. I was informed that Hogan has fought as high as 168 pounds. If you thought Brandon Adams was a challenge, I think Dennis Hogan might be a step up in competition from Brandon Adams. So uh, Adams, I mean, Charlo is trending in the right direction. But for those people who laugh at Terrence Bud Crawford and then sit there and cry that no Canelo, Triple G, or freezing out Jamal Charlo, then you got to be consistent. I'm consistent. I give out the same crow, or I, I be consistent on no matter if you're on PBC, top rank, or black or white, or orange or green. You can't have a you can't cry about one thing and then say, oh, you got to wait that way. No, if you feel bad for Terrence Crawford, or if you don't feel bad for Terrence Crawford, you got to keep it the same way with Jamal Charlo. They both in the same predicament. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. So if you're going to support Charlo, I'm going to support him on Showtime. But Showtime ain't going to be in the game long. I don't care what Steven Espinosa say. They ain't in front of long run. They'll be here before and after Fox. I doubt that. They money looking funny. They basically uh, is doing mid-level, uh, just mid-level showbox cards with Lubin and Goucher. I don't think nobody asked for that fight, but I think it's a really good fight card with Easter Jr. on there. But it's not a high-level card. It won't do good ratings. Jamal Charlo and Dennis Hogan, that's not a brand, a name-brand fight. Also, Tank is supposed to come back in December versus Gamboa. I don't know if it's going to be on the 7th, the 21st, or he's going to take over the December 14th date for J-Rock if he choose to do something else. I'm not sure, but that's an, also out there. Now, here come a good, juicy rumor. Leo Santa Cruz is out here ducking everybody. He is not expected to fight Gary Russell next, all right? Now, I heard some rumors out there saying that Ray Vargas is supposed to take on Emmanuel Nervetes at 130 pounds, 126 pounds, 22 pounds in a unification bout. But um, Ray Vargas and Leo Santa Cruz camps had talks about that fight and Ray Vargas would move up to 26 and challenge Leo Santa Cruz. But as of right now, Leo Santa Cruz don't even want to fight Ray Vargas. He don't want to fight Gary Russell. So it's looking like maybe a Jason Velas fight for Leo Santa Cruz at 120, at 130. So, Leo Santa Cruz don't want to fight Ray Vargas. He don't want to fight Gary Russell. Um, he didn't care that Gary Russell called out his pops. He just said, uh, he know, Gary Russell just joking and don't really bother him none. So, at the end of the day, people jumping on Gary Russell. Oh, you can't do that to his pops, man. Fuck them. This the hurt business. You you do whatever you can do to get this coward in the ring. And Leo Santa Cruz is just a pure coward. He won't get in the ring with nobody. He won't fight nobody. Nobody want to talk about the elephant in the room. If Leo Santa Cruz had the complexion of Adrian Broner, he had the complexion of Erickson Lubin, he had the complexion of Deontay Wilder. If he was a brother from Birmingham or Tuscaloosa, Alabama, y'all would be butchering him. You know what? Gary Russell did the right thing. He should have choked his motherfucking dad with them damn chains. He should he should have choked him for not for not you know uh for giving birth to this coward. Leo Santa Cruz is a grade A coward. Don't nobody care about his circumstance. I don't care what about what his father go through. I pay to see fighters fight the best, and that's not what's going down. 
He's the one of the biggest ducks thus far. Only reason Javante Tank Davis is a bigger duck than Leo Santa Cruz is because Floyd Mayweather calling fighters telling them to stop picking on Javante Tank Davis. At the end of the day, Leo Santa Cruz don't even want to fight Ray Vargas 122 pounder. Come on. So Rick and Dow is a mandatory for Ray Vargas belt. So I don't know what's gonna happen there. So Ray Vargas may end up fighting Nervetes. They try, they in talks with Leo Santa Cruz camp allegedly, and Santa Cruz don't want to fight him. So Santa Cruz gonna take another tune up. And he's just a coward. He said they fight, he fight who they tell him to fight. No, you pick and choose who you want to fight. And at the end of the day, somebody got to be fed up with what Santa Cruz wants. So Santa Cruz is most likely probably going to go on Showtime, but I doubt it. They probably going to get him a primetime Fox thing. I'm tired of him. If he choke on the, he choke on the shrimp and, 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 and never fight again, I would care less. I, I can care less about the dude. Dude is the poster child of boxing in 2010s. Coward, punk, you know, no backbone. You know, at the end of the day, they put him in a boxing hall of fame. Just torch it. He don't deserve to be in no hall of fame. He in the hall of shame. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So he don't want to fight Vargas. He Ray Vargas moving up. He don't want to fight Gary Russell. So he not entertained to fight Gary Russell. Um, I heard, you know, he just don't want to do it. He don't want to fight nobody, you know? So it's sad. It's unfortunate. Um, that he don't want to fight the best. He don't want to, he don't want to fight nobody, but Hey, you can't make him fight nobody, man. You've seen, you've seen his, his response to Gary Russell. It was like, oh, I don't care. And you know, he's a nice guy. You know, at the end of the day, how can anybody support this coward? I don't care what Hispanic, black, white, orange, red, Simpson, yellow. He's a great, a coward. And it is what it is. So I'm not sure what, if he just going to fight the last or I heard it's more likely going to be a tune up. I heard he was trying to gun for the regular uh, WBA at 130. So at the end of the day, it is what it is with him. All right. So Adrian Broner, you know, a lot of people want to know what happened. Adrian Broner is supposed to come back October 12th on Fox. All right. Right now, Adrian Broner is not in camp. It's been a big thing around social media. He ain't been training. And from what I understand is that he won't be fighting Ivan Reddick, um, at least not on October 12th. I don't even know if he's going to be on the track to fight this year. So right now, Adrian Broner, um, you know, he ain't, he ain't going to be fighting. I don't think anybody care. Ivan Reddick was under, under the pressure. The fight still was going to happen. He still, he trained with Shane Mosley. So I don't know if they're going to get Ivan Reddick a different opponent. I know PBC is supposed to be announcing a lot of different fights this weekend, but right now, Adrian Broner ain't training. And I don't expect Adrian Broner to be taking on Ivan Reddick. Uh, no time soon. So not sure what's going on with Broner. Last time we heard, we we heard that PBC hadn't released his check from the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight. He was trying to fight Lee Selby at a catch weight or that didn't happen. But, um, so he must be mad. He'd been saying he wanted to fight Lomachenko, fight Triple G, fight Canelo Alvarez. And got to give Adrian Broner credit. He will fight anybody to get that back. If that money right is right. So I don't know. If it's a disconnect between him and Al Heyman, or it's a disconnect between him and Showtime, or here, him and Fox. But I do know October 12th was his date. He was supposed to fight on Fox, PBC. Erickson Lubin was supposed to be on the card. Carlos Castano, Brian Carlos Castano was supposed to be on the card. And they were supposed to rock out on Fox. So, um, so it ain't going to happen right now. So, um, so I don't know what's going on with the kid, man. Hopefully, everything is okay with him. Hopefully, um... Hopefully, excuse me, hopefully all is well. Hopefully, uh, you know, he get through it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, a lot of people critical about AB and the decisions that he make. Everybody think that you pop up and you have all these millions of dollars and everything going to be okay. But, hey, you never know. Somebody might be, you might get that money. You might be just as reckless as Adrian Broner. So, I ain't, I ain't mad at him, man. Just hopefully he get his life together, but... You know, real quick, we talked about Jamal. It's going to be taking on Dennis Hogan December 7th. Leo Santa Cruz ducking everybody. Ray Vargas. Um, Gary Russell more likely going to do a tune-up. And Adrian Broner's probably not, more likely not going to fight it this year or fight Evan Reddick. He ain't going to go through that. So, real, real quick, that is what it is. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, a cry response, or video request. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love and support, man. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, 
toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Website, promo code in the description. And, um, yeah, man, just keep checking out for us, man. And keep sharing the videos. You want to make a donation, that link's in the description. Um, and I'll put that Copperger link about the uh, Charlo and the Hogan rumor in the description. So if you're in the Barclay in New York area, um, December 7th, go check out your.